Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to write cron expressions. So by the end of this video, you will be able to understand what is a cron uh, expression, how to write it, and what does it denote. So before starting, we should understand what is a cron expression. Cron expression is basically a block of five numbers or characters that constitute and point either a particular time or a range of time or an interval of time. So basically what we see is five, uh, there are five digits or spatial characters which are aligned in such a way like uh, we have 30, 08, 08, 09 and 1. The first block says of minute as it denotes a minute which is from 0 to 59th. The second block denotes the hour which is from 0 to 23. The third block de uh, denotes the date of or the day of the mo uh, month which is from 1 to 31 depending on the month. The fourth block uh, represents month from 1 to 12 where 1 stands for January and 12 for December. The, four, the last stands for the day of the week from 0 to 6 where 0 stands for Sunday and 6 stands for Saturday. So if there is a, uh, if there is a strong schedule like this like we have on screen, what does that mean? It simply means that 8.30 on day of month 8 and on Monday in September where, which means at 8th hour or the 30th minute on the 8th of September or on any Monday on September this particular scone schedule should trigger or is to be is set to trigger so on 8th of September and whenever there is a Monday in September this will happen so one by one let us go through several other literals that are related to this and so that we can understand and get some tricks done so the first trick is using an asterisk it refers to any value so our use case is 830 of any day of any week of any month so we have first write the minute which is 30 then the 08 is the r as we want it to run at 830 of every day so asterisk over here defines that day is any the month is any and the day of the week is any so we can see in the uh, in just above that it is there so if I write 3 in the end it would den denote to Wednesday so anytime on Wednesday at 830 this will trigger now let's move to the second one which is the comma comma is used to mention different values of a single block so if we have a use case of 1 2 3 4 5 minute of every hour of every day of every month on Tuesday then what we are going to do so we have minutes of 1 2 uh, 3 4 5 7 like that let's say so it simply states that this is going to be a one block the other block is going to be star the other is star and the other is star and the last one is 2 what does this mean that whenever the time is set as 1 2 3 7 minute it will trigger no matter what is the hour no matter what is the month no matter what is the date but the day should be a Tuesday so if I remove this 7 for once you can see that on 27th and the next hour it will trigger at one, one uh, first minute now let's go to this third one which is a hyphen I hyphen represent a range of values so for example if we want a cron expression from 10 to 13th of minute of any hour of any date of month from Tuesday to Thursday let's see what to do so we have 30, 10 to 13th minute that means 10 hyphen 30 and then any hour any date and any day of the month it will simply say that whenever the time is between 10 to 13 minute this should denote as we can see for every hour from 6 and then it is for 7 that's 10 11 12 13 now as per our uh, we can use this for the day also and for every other uh, value so as the requirement was from Tuesday to Thursday so we write 2 to 4 similarly we can do this with date month and the R now let's move to the last one which is going to be a forward slash forward slash is used to obtain the step values which means whenever whatever I write after forward slash it will slash and make the steps of the minute or whatever the value which we are going to give into the same thing that means if I'm if I want every five minute change 
so uh, after the 15th minute of every uh, hour so what i will do 15 slash 5 that means after 15 there will be a step of 5 and it will run every time but irrespective of the day hour month or week so this cron expression simply says that at 650 20 25 30 35 this will go on similarly after 35 it will go on to 640 645 likewise this all depends on 15 by forward slash 5 this can be done with the hour day and the month also which will create equal steps as per given hope you liked this video please guys support and press the subscribe button thank you guys till next time